Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The dunya, it is a reflection. It is not real. But it is a reflection of the ahirat, of reality. And if a man is sitting down and using his intelligence and looks at how this world is run, he will understand that time how to reach to Ahirat. Here, this is beyond reading and memorizing. This is reflection, understanding. This is Quran. Because the Quran is Kareem, in so many ayats, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, this is for people who understand. This is for people, for men of understanding. This is to people who thinks. Think. Why you are not thinking? You must think. When it comes to the dunya, especially if you are living in the West, man always runs to find the best for this life. If he wants to go to a doctor, if he is able and if he can afford it, he wants to find the best. He wants to find the best lawyers, the best accountants, the best people to do him, to do what with him? To help him in this life that he consults with. If you've got a really good doctor, and if the doctor is um, open 24 hours, 24 hours, you're going to consult with him. You're going to ask him everything from diet. Right? You're going to ask him everything from uh, what kind of medications you should take or not. <coughs> you're consulting. So why are you consulting? Because there is a knower. And that knower, with that knowledge, is going to help you to live your life better. Isn't it? Same thing with a lawyer. Same thing with, say, you, uh, you want to sell your house. And there's a real estate agent that says, it's free, and you can consult with me. I'll give you the best advice. Oh. And these days people pay money, good money, to consult with people that they don't know and who don't know them. They pay good money just to speak so that someone is listening to them. Therapists. Yeah. But they find it unusual to consult with a sheikh. Hmm. So, now, when you see a sheh, when you have a sheh, when you have a guide, the more that you're going to consult with him, the more guidance you're going to get. The more uh, understanding you're going to get. What are the matters? In tariqat, three things that you have to consult. Marriage, divorce, and traveling. You consult. But if you read now, uh, he's going to consult the sheikh to ask his advice, to ask for his blessings for important decisions that he's making in his life. You're not going to consult your sheikh now to ask him what to have for dinner or what color to paint the walls. But for any important decision, you consult what happens then. You're asking for advice. The sheikh knows. The sheikh knows what is behind and what is in front for you. 
and is going to take according to what is best that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put for you. Not what you think is best. Not what your father, your mother, your wife, your husband thinks is good. He's going to Shaykh and he's saying download uh, from up there what is necessary and what is good for you according to Allah and His Prophet. So that time when you consult with him, he's going to give you the best advice. So many taking it and throwing it to garbage. We know that. So many taking it, pretending that they are going to follow, but they don't. So many following and they find safety. So many asking. And when safety is found, when they got help, so many. Don't even bother to pick up the phone to say thank you, Sheikh for praying for me. So many. If they have a problem, 24 hours they're going to call. Please, please pray for me. Please pray for me. Please pray continuously. But when the prayer works, never you're going to see them calling, even just to thank. Very rare. Still, Sheikh Fendi is keeping quiet, smiling, but Allah doesn't like it. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, I will not accept your thanks until you have accepted, until you have thanked that one who has helped you. So what happens when you consult with a shaykh? Understand that what he says now, it is best for you to do. And if you don't do it, it's going to be uh, not too good. It's up to you, of course. No one is forcing anyone that they consult and you have to follow it. So, inshallah, Rahman, the more we consult, the more we're going to win. And that means that you're not just using your head. You're asking guidance from the one who has a connection to heavenly stations. And he may give you suggestions. Inshallah, may Allah always keep us in close consultation with our Shaykh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Okay. Ashka.